Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working him around this. I'm not get, the trailer's not really an issue right now. So see how he's just kind of travel around. See how he's kind of looking at that trailer and not really that comfortable with it. So I'm not going to ask him to get any closer. We'll just let him travel. This is why the lunging is so important for all this stuff. Okay, and I might yield his hindquarters, bring him back through. Yield. Bring him back through. See how he's a little nervous of that? So I'm not going to even ask him to get in a trailer. I'm just going to sit and work him a little bit right here. Yield. Last thing I want him to do is load. I don't want him to have anything to do with that. We might go around the side of the trailer, let him cross between it. Yield. See how we're getting him to move nice now? He's not being very resistant. See, he's looking at that. Even though he loads, he doesn't want to. So I'm just gonna travel him back and forth between me and this trailer. Now remember how I had to get after him with a stick and string this morning to get him to move? I don't have that anymore, and he's moving really nice. Okay, so we're just gonna test him a little bit, get him a little closer. Get him used to going between me and that trailer. That's the claustrophobic feel that they get. Now I'm just gonna kind of fade towards the trailer and just see what he does. Ask him to move forward. Okay, so he doesn't want that, so we'll just keep working him a little. Okay, see his head come down right there? We're just gonna let him investigate that little bit. I'm not gonna make him get in. So ask him for a step forward. We don't want to get in there with him and have him run over us or any of that. So I, see how I'm just asking him the same way that we did loading or the lunging? Just give him an idea of what we want, and then we'll work him out here a little more. See, if we wouldn't have got this forward motion out of him, he wouldn't be going towards the trailer. Okay, he, he sniffed it right there. So we'll let him investigate. I don't want to force him in. Hey, John. That's a real cowboy right there. Okay, see how every time he goes towards the trailer, the pressure goes away on him. If he backs away, we just move him back forward. Okay, so see how he's fighting that? So we're just going to ask him to work a little bit right here. See, this becomes his place where he gets to rest right here. So we'll just let him get a little closer. Okay, now if he, puts a, if he puts a foot in the trailer, we know that he likes to rush to get out of a trailer. So I would like to make it to where he gets part way in and then I back him out. If he jumps in, we may not be able to catch him, but... 
So see right now, he's getting to rest right here. Okay, so every time he makes a move forward, I take the pressure off of him. If he backs up, the pressure comes back. Okay, so he's resisting that, so we'll work him a little more. So how do you guys usually get him to load? Yeah. So every time, right now, where he's so resistant, every time he does step up here and get by the trailer, we're going to reward that. Okay? But what we do have to do is get him to break free from this little threshold right here and actually step in. So I see that rhythmic pressure? I'm just going to keep that there till he makes an effort to go forward. Okay, so that's his little spot right there where he's just going, I don't want to go farther than that. So out here, this has got to get a little bit uncomfortable. We'll work him a little bit. see every time he comes around he gets closer to me he got a little lazy right there so I tapped him a little there that's better Said he's a 15 mile a day kind of horse too, right? So he doesn't get lazy real quick. <laughs> okay, so I've worked him a little. We're gonna bring him up here. Okay. Okay, so see, this is the release right here. This lets him know that it's okay. There's the licking and chewing. Okay, there's where you see the rush. Okay, so we'll ask him to get part way back in. You see how this meant everything to him? Okay, there's your resistance. So, hey, would you mind grabbing me one of those sticks? Yeah. Okay, see this right here? There's your resistance that we don't want by a trailer. So, if I can get him to jump in, what's what's the first thing you would do with him once we got him in? Shut the, gate. <laughs> Shut the gate and run. <laughs> you want to pet him, let him know it's comfortable in there for him. 
So I'm just going to stand here at the side of the trailer and we'll, we know he can kind of resist this stuff, so. Okay, that's okay. That just let him know that he didn't have to get in all the way. Okay, see how that was a little slower? Okay, so we're just going to let him back out a little bit at a time. There, see how that got slower that time? There, way better. Okay, so we'll ask again. Ask again. Good boy. Okay, this time I'm going to pet him if he gets part way and we'll see if we can get him to stand. Okay, is that better? Okay, we'll go again. Okay, is that a little better? <laughs> So I'm not forcing him to get all the way in here. I'm just letting him get to where he's comfortable. See how now he doesn't really want to back out? Now I'm going to back him out. See the difference? Come back in. Stand here. There, see that? So see how the backward motion went away all of a sudden? So for me, I wouldn't ask him to get clear in until he's comfortably being part way in. Because then that's just going to make his whole body be nervous. There, and then we'll just sit and pat him. He's licking and now, see how he went forward that time? Okay, I'm not gonna let him load, I'm gonna get him off. Is that a little different than he's backed out? Okay, so we'll ask him back in again. Okay, now we're halfway in. Okay, and I'm gonna back him out again. Okay, see the difference? Okay, now I didn't ask him that time. He did that on his own. Okay, so now that we've got him understanding what we want, now we'll just ask him to come a little farther and scratch him. Okay, see that? No rush. Okay, now watch this. Now that he's in here and being scratched, he thinks this feels pretty good. So now I'm going to be the one to ask him to back out. He's not going to bail. Watch this. A little different? Okay, now watch. Do you teach him both ways, back and forth? Okay, I always back mine too. Okay, now, do you ever see, is that a little different than bailing out? Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna ask him to walk out without crunching me. See, this is where that lunging and all that stuff comes in. Now you can control his body without getting in his way. Now what's gonna happen is, Okay, we don't want him turning around, but I just want to get him. Now, can you guys see a difference in him? Okay, so this is where we want to just rub him, tell him how cute he is and how awesome he is and all that. Anybody feed treats to their horses? <laughs> I don't like treats, but if you're going to feed him a treat, this is the place to do it right here. Don't ever do it with bad behavior. Okay, now ask him to get out. Okay, now I'm going to ask him to work out here a little bit. Now 
And then I'm gonna come up to the trailer. Come get in, we'll pet you. Okay, so this is where we're teaching him right now. He gets to relax in here. Okay, so after I petted him, I'm gonna ask him to back out. See how he's not shooting out backwards now? He kinda wants to stay in here. How's that for relaxed? A little better? Now, see, he wants to go back in, watch this. Okay, now I'll ask him to get out. See how he doesn't want to get out now? He'd rather be in there getting scratched. Now watch this. Little better, huh? Okay, now. Now I, I like all my horses to back out too, but I do like them to know both, just in case. But I've got, I've got one favorite that I raised up the rough road, and I let them jump out of that. Yeah. Okay. So there's your filthy loader trailing horse that doesn't like to be in a trailer. Okay, so you got can you hear me all right out there? This is what makes this horse load in a trailer and be comfortable. You work him outside, you let him come in here and you let him relax. And every time you do this, pretty soon you just open the door and point and there away he'll go. 